Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, April 4th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat is over there giving herself a bath. And this week we are pondering this beautiful mosaic depicting Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. The look of sorrow on Jesus' face is overwhelming. And as he's kneeling down begging God, his hands are outstretched, long fingers beseeching Jesus to take this cup from him. The disciples are a sort of mass of chaotic sleep. And then Jesus is sort of pointing to Peter, accusing, can't you stay awake with me, please? Stay with me in this time, is what he asked them. And they couldn't do it. On this Tuesday of Holy Week, we continue in the Gospel of John. Jesus says to his disciples, my glory is about to be revealed. If a grain of wheat, only if a grain of wheat falls on, in the earth and dies, does it really multiply and produce fruit? Only if a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, will it multiply and produce more life? Those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their lives for my sake will save them for all eternity, he says. Jesus will give his life away, and he asks that we too give our lives away. And that is totally counterintuitive. Everything about us, our bodies, our minds, our cultures tell us that we should be all about ourselves all the time. How am I doing? Are people liking me? Am I successful? Et cetera, et cetera. Jesus is saying, let it all die. Give it all away. That unless you release yourself into God's arms, you'll never really transform the world. We have to let go and be of service and give ourselves away and be willing to die. And in fact, die to ourselves, die to our egos, our self-centeredness, to give our lives away as an act of praise and thanksgiving and gratitude. It is the hardest but most beautiful gospel message. Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it doesn't multiply. Let go, let go and let God take over. Fall into God's arms, die to yourself and see what is born. Let us pray. We thank you almighty God for the gift of this day. We thank you for the great gift of our lives, for all that you have given us, for our breath, our health, all that we have, our loved ones. But we ask you to give us courage to let it all go, to die to ourselves as you did so that we might be born in you and truly be of service to you in this life. We ask that you would bless the sick today, Lord Christ, that you would bless those who are dying, that you would bless the hungry, those who are lonely, those who mourn, the incarcerated, those who battle addiction, mental illness, isolation of any kind. We ask that you would grant us peace to this whole world, wisdom, and give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you've given us. Teach us how to live in harmony with one another and with this planet. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.